spring here behind me is the source water for the beautiful Honey Creek, a tributary of the Guadalupe. It's flowing at well below its normal flow now, largely because, of course, we're in a drought, but in addition, undoubtedly, because of the additional pumping in the Edwards Aquifer. It's a source of Honey Creek, which is the only tributary of the Guadalupe River that's entirely on public land and thus protected. Honey Creek, this area is, is I think, very significant educationally, and that is one of the primary reasons it exists. And we have, for example, hundreds of, of third graders from uh, San Antonio that come out here and do educational programs. And, and the great thing about that is it gives them exposure to an area and it, it allows them to see something that, that people would have seen 100 or 150 years ago because this area is still pretty pristine. The property on the Texas coast was owned by a group of major oil companies who had acquired it uh, for an offshore oil terminal and they were able to take advantage of the federal income tax laws by selling the property to the Nature Conservancy for about 30 cents on the dollar or one third its mm -hmm. value. So we were able to take both of those properties, Honey Creek and the property along the coast, uh, with a total investment of about four million dollars and present them to the state with a value of somewhere around 12.